Hey guys, so we're gonna do a different type of video. We're gonna do like a weapon chat and uh, Charlotte's singing in the background. So I have the camera on that side and it's filming this way. So either I'll flip the video to make it the right way or I'll just post it this way. But everything's reversed from <laughs> like what I can see in the viewfinder. But basically I just wanted to diamond paint and make a video. So we're gonna do that. I'm going to work on this one, this is my witch one for DP Festival of Witches, I don't even know if it's still going on, but that's what I'm working on. This came late, so I didn't start it at the beginning of what, <laughs> what month comes before October, or did it start in October? Uh, September? Is that what comes from? I think that's what comes. So I think stuff started in September and I finished one of my diamond paintings. Um, but then this one came later into the event and I wanted to do it so I don't even, I don't know, I wasn't keeping track of when things were. I finished my drills and chills for this year and I didn't do the the Google form or whatever for it. I don't know. I thought about it and then like I forget to do it whenever I'm online. So we'll see if I actually remember to do it or not. But yeah. So I'm doing a witchy diamond painting because it's, I don't even know what day it is, the 18th. This video probably won't go up. I think I have next week's videos. No, today's Monday, so I think I have this week's videos already uploaded. They just go live. And, and then this week will go up next week because, yeah, or I'll just post it this week and be crazy because sometimes I do that because I don't think I have a diamond painting video I don't know I got a couple things going up that I got asked to do for and yeah so this one might go up this week I don't know we'll see there are a lot of kid noises Charlotte's downstairs singing and talking to herself because she's doing something and uh, the kids next door are outside for recess or gym class. It's hard to tell which is which unless you're out there. But um, they both sound the same. They're both real loud. Except for at recess, they have a xylophone. Like, it's not a xylophone, but it's like um, I guess it's an outdoor xylophone. And some of the kids can actually play it. It's really cool. But it's... You can hear the xylophone whenever it's recess because they're at the playground. But yeah. So, big news. I hit a thousand subscribers, but then I went back under a thousand subscribers. <laughs> so yeah, that was fun. I had like a thousand subscribers for like a day. So if you're not subscribed, that'd be awesome. Could just not no it wouldn't be awesome to be not subscribed you should definitely subscribe so i can hit a thousand subscribers again it's a bit disappointing though because once you hit a thousand it just says 1k on your profile it doesn't have like the exact number so i think it'd be more fun if they had the number written out so you could see how many you have like you can see how many subscribers you have if you go to manage your account or whatever. But yeah. So that was pretty exciting. Phone's making noise. What do you need? I somehow got a voicemail or voice message, whatever it's called, without my phone ringing. So that's interesting.
not been doing much diamond painting. I've been doing cross stitching, so they're very similar hobbies, but cross stitch I do downstairs because I can sit in the rocking chair or take it outside and there's less to carry with you. Like you can take a couple couple things and it's easy to transport. Diamond painting not so much because you have to have like a place to put your stuff down. If you're doing smaller diamond paintings it's not so bad because you can use a clipboard. I've done that before but I was working on Ariel again just because she's almost done. She has like three and a half sections left until she's done and I already have a frame for her and everything. Um, so I want to get her in the frame because she's real cute. She's, there's um, Ariel and Vaporeon and a Magikarp. So it's super cute. But yeah. All my diamond paintings I have kitted up are big, other than this one. And I think I'm just going to throw away my cupcake one because those... It's a square, which usually I like squares because they fit together better, but... This square is horrible. It's popping. The drills come up whenever... Like when you're placing them, they don't lay flat and... Every time I do it, I just get more frustrated with it because I take a break from it and I come back and I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this. And then I start working on it and drills start popping. And my multi-placer needs new wax because it's not picking anything up. It's frustrating. Um, I don't have any other pens. Oh, there's the one I actually like. What was I saying? Oh, the drill's popping. It's ridiculous. Like, I've had diamond paintings where the drills pop, like, if you set it down and leave it, and then you come back and some of the drills are popped up, but this one is, like, everything. Alright, so we're back again. My mom came over, so I stopped recording for a little bit. But I was talking about the canvas and the drills pop off as you're, like as you're working on it. They start bubbling up and coming off and I don't think there's any way to save it. Which is really annoying because it's this cute um, picture with cupcakes and I don't know. I just thought it would be really cute in the kitchen. So I'm back and forth on what to do with it. But I have like three sections done little sections and it doesn't feel like it's getting any better. I mean it's not getting better, it's getting worse, but I even tried sealing the sections as I go, but it's to the point where even sealing it, it's like coming up once I put Mod Podge on it. So I don't know. But yeah, I saw somebody else do this painting for, I don't know if it was Drills and Shells or Festival of Witches, but that's pretty cool. I like whenever other people have the same diamond painting. It's just kind of cool to see how other people work on something that you're working on. But yeah. I'm pretty excited to start Christmas diamond paintings. So, I'm trying to get all my Halloween ones done. Child's downstairs singing. I think she's playing a game. She's used to, uh, she plays games with the boys like Minecraft and stuff. And whenever they play Minecraft, they always talk like they're making a video because they watch other people play Minecraft and that's how they, uh, they're making a video. So they're talking and they're saying what they're doing and stuff. So the boys started doing that. So now Charlotte does it and it's just funny, especially whenever they're all playing by themselves and they're all like talking. But 
it's cute. Don't know how long I'm going to record for today. Don't have a lot to talk about because like I said, I haven't been working on diamond paintings. I've been cleaning up the craft room, moving stuff around because um, I don't know if the video is up or not, but I got a rainbow tree. It's not a Christmas tree because I wanted to put it up now, but you might find it in the Christmas section at the store. But it's a rainbow tree to go in my rainbow craft room. So yeah, totally different. So I've been working on moving stuff around and trying to make space for everything. And that's not going very well. It's kind of a mess, but also haven't been up here very much because like I said, I wasn't, I was working on cross stitch. And I do that downstairs mostly. I do have one up here because I have a rocking chair up here. So I have a cross stitch in it. And then I have, oh goodness, I don't even know how many downstairs. The problem is I see a cute one and then I'm like, oh, I want to do that. And then I start it because I already have like a bunch of thread and I have needles and some hoops and stuff. So usually all I need to do is go get fabric. And if it's a small one, I can get it for a couple dollars. So I'm like, oh, I'll just go pick that up. And then I start working on it and then I see a new one and yeah. So I think right now I have six maybe and then I have a couple more that are gonna start as we go into November mostly Christmassy ones so I'm excited about that but yeah been trying to finish up my Halloween ones because I don't want to start Christmas stuff with Halloween stuff out. That's kind of silly. In other news, Linda from Dreamer Craft Corner started a group on Facebook. If you, um, I think it's 800, which I mean technically I have more than 800, but she let me join anyways. I don't know if she knows I have more than 800 or what, so I should probably not be in it, but she has a group and if you have less than 800 subscribers, you can go on there and talk to other creators and all kinds of stuff. Help each other out and try to grow your channel some. Channel some. Have some weird accent going. But I think it's really cool she's doing that. She uh, posted a video the other day about people being ridiculous with lives again. And I just don't understand that. Like, I don't understand how you think you can own a time for going live on fa not Facebook, YouTube. It's just so childish. Like, there's how many people in the world and how many different time zones and how are you going to say that you owe, like, 2 o'clock? That's, that's not how it works. But I guess some people do that and then other people that have smaller channels get the um, get intimidated by it because they're like that they can't do lives because other bigger channels are doing lives. It's just crazy. I don't do lives because I always get interrupted when I record and stuff. And I don't know. I just, I don't have much to talk about, so I'd rather just record and then post it, but other people like to do lives, and I get that. I don't watch a lot of them live because, like I said, I get interrupted with stuff, so a lot of the time I watch the replays on YouTube, but I think it's just nice that people put the effort into doing lives, and that way they can have, like, a real-time discussion with subscribers and you know get real-time input from people so I think it's really nice that people do that but I think it's ridiculous that other people or that people try to tell other people that they can't do it at certain times or whatever because not everybody's gonna watch every live anyways 
they're not gonna watch every replay it's just you watch what you want to watch you don't watch everything unless you're really bored I suppose but even then you, there's no way you could watch every video and there's enough people in the world that people can go live when they want to go live and there'll be viewers for it and like uh, like with me, I watch the replay, so even if people don't watch the live, you can still make your video live and have the option of people coming in chatting, and then you, like, the people can watch the replay of it, so I mean, it still works out. Yeah. But I notice that a lot with a lot of craft communities. People with like more influence or bigger channels or bigger followings or stuff get on people with smaller stuff and they just they don't they make it not fun it's like clicky and it's this is our group and you're not in our group so you can't do this or if you do it then we're gonna make fun of you because you're not doing it right or you know or just this person did this and it hurt my feelings and now we're gonna ruin their channel for them I don't know it's very frustrating but I've seen it in so many different channels and I think it's part of the reason why even though I do a lot of diamond painting and I do a lot of crafts I don't talk to other people who do crafts because I don't want to get in on the drama. I don't want to be any of that. And not not everybody does that. I understand that, but it's just like online. There's so many, so many clicky groups where somebody says something, and then all of a sudden you have a group of crafters attacking another group of crafters, and it's this side versus that side. And really, it shouldn't be like that. I'm not talking about anything specific right now, just it happens and a lot of times it does happen because of lives or somebody's channel or you know whatever. It's just ridiculous. But I've seen it. I was I was big in the planner community probably three years ago now, two years, something like that. Where I did my planner, I did multiple planners every week. I decorated them and I posted it online and I talked to other people that use the same planner and just, it's a lot of work. But I mean, it was fun and I enjoyed myself and it does cost a lot of money to do that because buying stickers and washi and everything. So yeah but then I was gonna pay to go to this one convention and I was really excited about it and then it turned into this thing where it was you had to pick your table and if you didn't have like the, only these certain people were allowed to sit at these certain tables and basically a bunch of high school stuff and I was like I'm not gonna spend money to go to this and not have anybody to talk to because everyone's in their little clique. And then I didn't go to it. I went to a hockey game instead. <laughs> Which, I mean, is a better, better option anyways. I like hockey games. But it's just frustrating whenever you find something that you enjoy doing. And then you try to find like-minded people that also enjoy doing it. And it turns into, well, you're not doing it the right way. Or you're not doing it with this stuff. Or you, you, we only use this brand. Or, you know, high school stuff. We're adults. Act like adults. People are allowed to do their activity, their craft, their hobby, whatever. They don't have to do it. You don't have to only do one hobby, you don't have to only use one brand, you know. We don't have to make fun of somebody because of something they did or something they posted because they didn't know. 
you know, yeah. just let people have their lives. It's funny because we always tell kids, you know, not to hurt people's feelings, not to say things that are just mean to be mean. But then there's so many people on the internet and they, they do it and they intentionally do stuff to people because they're on the internet and it's not face to face because there are so many people that say things online that they wouldn't say to somebody in person, you know. But they're just as hurtful online. Maybe even more so because you continuously see it, you read it again, you know. So, that was kind of a weird tangent. But I think it's important that people know that it's not okay. And I think it's important that small channels, you know, they're not just by themselves, they get with other channels and... Because if you have two small channels and they start working together, then you can make both the channels grow, which is great. But also, they're facing the same kind of issues, like wanting to have your channel grow, not knowing what to do, maybe not having ideas for videos. Those are the kind of things other people with small channels are also having. Or maybe not knowing how to edit videos, or how to do lives, or, you know. So having a community where you can talk with groups that are just starting their channel, or maybe not, maybe they've been doing this for a while, but they haven't really hit that mark where they started making more subscribers yet, or something, you know what I mean? It's a process. The whole thing is a process. And there's, I mean, there's books out there about how to YouTube and stuff, but it's constantly changing and really it depends on the viewers. It's not really something that people can just tell you, oh, well, if you go onto YouTube and you make a video about this that's this long and has this, this, and this in it, then you'll get a bunch of subscribers. It doesn't work that way would be cool if it did, but it doesn't. But then again, if it worked that way, everybody would just go online and do that and everyone would have a million subscribers. But yeah. I don't know. Charlotte's downstairs singing again. I don't know if you can hear her. Oh, now she's not going to say. She's so cute. It was funny, she decided, she's been saying she's going to be a unicorn for Halloween for like the past two months. And we get to the store and we were going to buy her a unicorn costume and then she saw Rainbow Dash, who is not a unicorn if you don't know. But she decided she was going to be Rainbow Dash. And then we were in a different aisle and she saw a puppy costume. And she decided we were going to be puppies because Charlotte and I dress up together. So now we're being Dalmatians. And I don't even know if there's anything going on for Halloween. But we got Dalmatian costumes to wear on Halloween if nothing else. Last year that's what we did. She um... What was she last year? She was Peppa Pig, and I was Mummy Pig. And we ended up just going to Walmart and being out in the yard in costumes. We got some candy, because there wasn't anything going on. I need to get some different wax or something, I swear. My wax gets all weird. I don't know if it's the drills, or the pen, or just the wax itself, I guess. I tried. Oh, I tried patty wax before and it smells really good, but I had to change my wax so much with that too. 
And I mean, I live in Florida, so it's not that it was cold or anything like that, because I know that's a big problem. But it worked. It was just the same issue where I had to change my wax constantly or add more wax. I don't like when it does that. I wanted to get a pick. Is it a pick me up pen? I think that's what it's called. I wanted to get one of those to try, but um, there's a shortage of them still, I guess. So I haven't been able to find any. When I could find them, they were like $12, and I was like, ooh, that's expensive. I don't want to pay that. And now that I'm like, yeah, I think I'll, I'll buy one. Well, now I can't get one, because they're all sold out everywhere. I know you can buy them like custom made on Etsy, but I don't know if I like it or not, so I don't want to spend the money and get one custom made and then not like it. Yeah. Words on this are coming out pretty nice. Use a little bit. Blend it in. I'm sure whenever it's all done, it'll read well. I wasn't sure whenever it ra arrived because it's, um, I think it's a 30 by 40. Yeah, it's a 30 by 40 and it has a good bit of words on it, so. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to read it or not. I figured it should work because it's pretty big text, but. I don't know. I'm hoping you can read it. But then, uh, based on how much I have left, I don't know, it's not gonna be done by Halloween. Cause I got, what, like two weeks? I guess it could be, I could finish this in two weeks. Just need to actually work on it. this video is not too weird, I might start doing rambles and whip and chats basically, but not really have anything to, anything specific, just rambling on. I don't know if that'll get views or not, but to be honest, I don't really care. <laughs> Sounds so sincere. Whenever I started my YouTube channel, it was, I did a lot of review products, which is why randomly I'll get, I'll have videos where I do review products because I still have companies reach out to me. But I was doing review products and um, it was always, gotta get the video out, gotta get the video out, gotta get the video out, you know gotta post all the time and have all the hashtags and this and that and the other thing and it's a lot of work and then because I was doing review videos that didn't really there wasn't a like a certain type of video it was just all kinds of review products that I was getting sent it was hard to grow a following with that because people don't want to watch like, they're not going to subscribe to my channel to watch it when they don't have any idea what video I'm going to be posting the next day or whatever. So, I've been on YouTube, I think about six years now. I'd have to check, but for a while. And recently I've just decided, you know, I'm going to make the videos that I want to make. Kind of like my tie-dye video. Um... I don't know if that's up yet or not, or if that's the one that goes up Wednesday, but my tie-dye video was not related to anything on my channel at all, just the fact that I like tie-dyeing and I wanted them, so, but that's okay, you know, it's my channel, I can post what I want, if people don't want to watch it, then they don't have to watch it, and that's kind of where I'm at now. It's not, oh, my video needs to be this, this, and this so that other people like it. I do want my people to like my videos and watch them and stuff and enjoy them. But 
it's more so doing things that I enjoy, not forcing myself to do something for the views or for the subscribers or whatever. I think it's a, a mental thing that a lot of people, st like whenever you start a YouTube channel, you want to get subscribers, you want to get views, you want to, you want to get all that stuff, you know, because you can't monetize until you have so many views and so many subscribers and everything. And I think that's a big point, a big part of having a YouTube channel is the opportunity to monetize and just have people watch your videos and enjoy them and everything, you know. And when you're first starting out, you can't do that. You have to kind of build a following and work on what you have. Work with w work with what you have, too. Because I have a lot more stuff now than I did when I started. When I first started, I was recording on my phone, so... Not that recording on your phone's bad, I mean, a lot of the times the videos from phones are really good. Not like super good, but they're, for a YouTube video, they're good. And nowadays, the cameras on phones are even better than what they were, so... It works out. But you use what you got, and you make what you want to make. And then the subscribers and the viewers will come, eventually. Or you'll tweak it and then work on that, which is kind of where I'm at now, I think. I'm on the tweaking and changing it up stage, trying to figure out what works and what doesn't work and what I want to do and I just threw girls everywhere. <laughs> this video uh, probably about half hour with the last part I'm gonna do these use and then we'll go ahead and cut off here and if this is something people like or I guess if it's something I like I like when other people like videos too but I get a lot of anxiety when I record and you may pick up on it whenever some of the videos I start talking real fast or like I don't breathe <laughs> and it's I don't I've been working on it but some videos I just get it really bad and then I speed through them and it's not that I don't like the video it's just that I have all this stuff that I want to say and I try to say it all at one time and I don't know anxiety is weird doesn't make a lot of sense. It's just one of those lovely things that happen and sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't when you're in the same situation and it's like okay. But yeah, so facing that and trying to figure out what kind of videos I want to make and posting consistently, which I think I've gotten better at. I know I missed I don't know if it was last week or the week before. One of the weeks I missed the week. And I mean, I was kind of upset about that, but I didn't really have anything I wanted to post just because of other stuff going on and I didn't feel like doing it. So I didn't. But yeah. I think that's a big problem too. I think a lot of people feel pressured that because you're always told you gotta post consistently to get YouTube subscribers, which I think is true to a point. So then, on top of trying to figure out what you want to record and how you want to record, then you have to try to figure out that for every week or every so many days or however you're recording or posting. It's a lot of stress for, for a channel if you don't know what you're doing. But yeah. I'm gonna finish up with these little ones and then 
we will go ahead and put this away. But I will go ahead and leave the link for Dreamer Craft Corner's small YouTube channel down below, or small YouTube channel group on Facebook down below. And if you are a small YouTube channel, you should definitely go check it out because, like I said, I think it's a great idea. It's very helpful, even though technically I shouldn't be in it, but that's okay. I still think I'm a small YouTube channel, even though I did hit 1,000 subscribers last week. I'm back down to nine something, but I still think I'm small. Even a thousand, I think, is pretty small compared to some channels, and they have like 10,000 or more, and it's just like, wow. Hard to believe, you know? I mean, I get it. I get that people watch stuff, but some of the numbers of subscribers people have, it's just like mind blowing. So there we go. We got most of the letters done. No, we didn't. <laughs> we have a couple left in the, and then we have these ones done. Got these little bits to go. So thanks for watching. I hope you had a great day. Have a great day. This, ah, I messed it up. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye. And remember, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel so I can hit a thousand subscribers again.